Hello. After winning the jury prize at Cannes and having a theatrical run, Jersey Skolemowski's EO is now streaming on the Criterion channel. Uh, this is really exciting. Um, when the film begins, it is showing the Criterion logo as well as Janus Films. So, although it hasn't been formally announced, I think it's safe to presume that EO will be coming out as a physical release from the Criterion collection at some stage this year. Great. Uh, I watched this film just the other night and it is absolutely fantastic. So I just wanted to hop on here just to kind of say that really. Um, I found this really exciting. Um, Jersey Scholar Mosque has a few films currently streaming on the Criterion channel. Um, those include um, The Shout, uh, Deep End and Moonlighting. Moonlighting was actually the first film that I saw of Skolomowski uh, that came out in 1982, stars Jeremy Irons in it, um, but I haven't seen that in a long while. Deep End is a really interesting one from the 60s, I uh, really enjoyed that. Um, and The Shout, also with Alan Bates, uh, is, is quite an unusual film, so that's definitely worth seeing. But yeah, EO is really, really interesting. Um, now, I had some kind of reservations about about this one because I thought that uh, you know it sounded initially as though well is this going to be a remake of Oh Hazard Balthazar um, but uh, okay yes this is a film about the journeys of a donkey and its mistreatment and the cruelty of mankind as well as the kindness as well um, but it's actually interesting on the Criterion channel they do have uh, if you like the extras uh, on there so there is an interview with Jerzy Skolomowski and uh, when you hear him talking about uh, his relationship if you like with Ohazad Balthazar that's very interesting I won't spoil that for you but uh, it's good to know how um, he connected with that film uh, which then has ultimately led him to make EO. Um, but yeah, EO is really, it feels to me a, a, just a very fresh kind of cinematic film. The, um, the score in this from uh, Pavel Mikiatin is just really present in the film, uh, very imposing and definitely a part of the film. Um, and the excellent cinematography, which uh, is done by Michael Dimek um, is just really uh, inventive and lots of different sort of angles and uh, perspectives from the donkey's point of view. Um, so you really feel immersed in this film. Um, yeah, this film as a visual experience and oral experience is just really exciting, I think. Um, there's a lot here to enjoy. So. Yeah, hopefully this one will be coming out uh, in the coming months from the Criterion Collection. And so if you can't view this one at the moment on Criterion Channel, um, then this will definitely be a physical release to look forward to. Um, but there, there you go. That's just a few comments from me. I just really wanted to come on and enthuse about uh, having watched EO. Uh, I really did enjoy it. Um, uh, it's definitely got high rewatchability factor. Um, it's not a film for children, unfortunately. Um, but uh, um, yeah, maybe the day will come when there'll be a kindness amongst all humanity and uh, a better, more gentle film can be made about uh, the life of a donkey but uh, um, but yeah like I say this one is it's richly rewarding there's a lot of uh, beautiful moments in this um, well worth seeing so yeah please do check it out as and when you can and look forward to the Criterion release which no doubt will be happening at some point this year okay I don't know that for sure by the way but uh, <laughs> it just seems fairly uh, logical um, anyway, okay, that's enough from me. So uh, thanks for watching this and I will see you again. Bye.